coming in to hit the scales. Good boy. Two-year-old Archie loves his food a bit too much. He has a Labrador face, so I guess for us it's quite easy to give him whatever food he wants, needs, desires. Hi, how you doing? Amara Schultz jumped at the chance for her dog to take part in the study for overweight labs and golden retrievers. I saw the research project come up and I thought, I have a Labrador and I have an overweight Labrador. We probably all have crossed paths with a bit of a curvy dog and found that it was a very cute uh, little dog, but it has some health implication on the long term. Where are we going, buddy? For the next seven months, they're given a diet plan and researchers will use doggy Fitbits to track their exercise. It gives an indication of the intensity of the activity. So are they playing? Are they walking? What are they doing? The relationship between gut health and brain function is a key area of research. That is well studied in humans, but really not well known in dogs. One in three Australian dogs is overweight and one in 10 obese, but owners may not realise. If you think your pooch has packed on the pounds, talk to your vet to come up with a plan. Stephen Clark, ABC News, Brisbane.